Hi Huns! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Emma. You are so welcome here. And if you are not new here, then you know we love a good ranking on this channel. This is a little bit different and we're going to do a reality show which was recommended by a really good friend who started off as a subscriber. Actually, his name is Colby. So thank you so much, Colby, for recommending Selling Sunset to me. Am I qualified to make these decisions and opinions? No. Did anyone ask for it? No. Will I still be doing it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, let's get into it. I mean, let's do it. So let's talk through this ranking system. So if you're not new here, you will know some of these already. At the top of the ranking, there is Next Level Charlie. First track off Charlie by Charlie XCX. If this is for people who are just next level, can't be beat, the God tier, basically. Then we have Yes Mama, which is just below Next Charlie, and it's just like, Yes Mama, great. But you're not Next Level Charlie. And then we have We Were All Rooting For You. And it's for like people who don't quite make it into your good books. Maybe they let you down even though you're rooting for them anyway. That's the kind of vibe in there. What to Heck tweeted by Billy Ray Cyrus. This happened and it lives in my brain rent free, honest to God. I just think to myself at least four times a day, what to heck. That I feel like speaks for itself. And then the bottom tier is oh no ma'am. If you're there, you're there, okay? Take it up with my lawyer. I don't have one. If there's any lawyers out there, let me know. Let's get into it. Let's start with like an easy win. For me anyway, I think everyone kind of agrees that this character is definitely next level Charlie. It is Miss Maya. I'm gonna put her straight into next level Charlie. Maya, I just love. I just love her. You can tell every time that she is in like the group scenarios, the producers are like, Maya, why don't you ask Heather and Christine like, why they were talking about Chriselle in front of everyone. And she'll be like, okay, I love it. And then the one of her most iconic moments is when, by the way, this video has spoilers. So this is for all three seasons that are currently out. Um, in season three, when they're at Brett's new condo and they're talking about how Mary is the favorite, blah, blah, blah. And Maya just says something to Jason and it is like so out of line, but then she was just like, just kidding. Jason just have an ego and he doesn't want anyone else to have a bigger listing than him. I have to depend Jason on this. Of course he yeah. yeah. I wish I could do that in life, honestly. Just be like, I hate this fish pie that you made me. Just kidding. I want to be legally divorced from my parents. Just kidding. You know? So I just feel like that was a quick win. Everyone loves Maya, including moi. And that is why she is next level Charlie. And then we have... Hmm, this is fun, but I really am like not sure where to go with this. Okay, I feel like with the next level Charlie, I need to show, to like really gauge this right, I need to do a definite oh no ma'am. This one should not come as a surprise to anyone. It's Davina. Actually, my name's Davina. Actually, my name's Davina. I did say what I said. I'm gonna link this template that I made for this in the description box below if you wanna like make your own rankings and then put them in the comments or send them to me or whatever. I just thought that'd be fun for you guys. Davina's in the bottom. So back to the main story. Davina's in the bottom. I just, the jury was out because sometimes I'd be like, you know what, whatever. She's just playing a character until that finale of season three. To be fair, obviously Justin has his own side, right? That's all I'm saying. You didn't get married to get divorced, you know? You know that, right? I didn't love her, I never did. In that season finale, when she was just defending Justin Hartley, like, for what? For what reason? Why would you, and Brett said it perfectly. I think he said something like, saying that there's two sides to every story is a really weird way to say, I'm not taking sides or whatever it was. It's just like everything she says is so charged and I find her very gaslighty, I really do. I feel like she will just throw out like a statement that is definitely meant to get under your skin. And then when you're like, what the heck Davina? She'll be like, I'm just saying because I'm just saying. I think that was actually a really good impression of her voice. Anyway, okay, now, since we're already talking about it, let's talk about Miss Chriselle. This one is hard because you know what? I actually do like Chriselle. I don't love her, that's for sure, but I do like her and my heart did go out to her. Mm, do I see her playing a victim mentality sometimes? Yeah, I'd be lying if I said that I don't do that myself sometimes. So honestly, Chriselle is going into Yes Mama for me. I like her. She's not next level Charlie because look, she's not Maya, but you know. And she got that apartment redecorated real quick. So respect for our queen. Let's go to Heather. So Heather, I really 
do not like very much. You know what, I'm just gonna be honest. Heather is going right into Ono oh Ma'am also. Wow. Honestly, I started off like being quite neutral about Heather. She was made out to be a villain by Christine in season one, and I didn't want to buy into it straight away, but either it's the edit or it's whatever is happening, I bought into it. Especially what really got to me was when she was having that conversation with Amanza and Amanza offended her. When Amanza apologized then and there, Heather was not very warm about it. And then when Amanza, a queen, went out of her way to apologize again, Heather just used it as an opportunity to scold her. And honestly, I guess I'm just triggered because I've dealt with people in my life and when you go to them and try to be the bigger person and they just use that as like a power trip to like just scold you and be mad at you all over again and kind of kick you when you're down, even though you're being the bigger person, it triggered me. You can probably tell. So she's right down there at the bottom. I also don't understand what happened between seasons. So now her and Christina are like best friends, but I just don't buy into it. I feel like it was just convenient for Heather because she was never going to be friendly with the other girlies in the group so but I don't feel like she likes the fact that in the group that she's in now Christine is the alpha I don't think that sits well with her so we'll just see how that plays out next up we have hmm, Mary now this one I'm really not sure where to put Mary I like Mary I really don't know where to put her I'm gonna have to put her in we were all rooting for you because I really want to love Mary but I feel like I've not gotten that yet. And that's all I have to say at this time. Right, and then that brings us to Romaine. Romaine, honestly, I kind of live for. I don't know why. I don't love his personality. I don't love him. But anytime he's in a scene, I'm like, what is he honestly about to say? And for that, I guess I'm also rooting for him because I love when I see that he's going to be in a scene. Sorry if my framing just changed. My battery just died. I guess that's what happens when you don't film a video for a month, which... In that time, I did watch all of Selling Sunset, so now we have this to share together. Anyway, back to Romain. Do I agree with everything that he says? Certainly not. I feel like when he's there, anything could pop off. And really, what else do we want from reality TV, right? Now we're really getting down to the wire. So I'm going to do Amanza. Amanza for me is next level Charlie. I don't know why, but my heart just really warmed to her. I love her. I think she's gorgeous. I think she is always ready to take the high road. And also, one of my favorite scenes was when Christine was talking to Mary in the bridal dress shop and Amanza was clearly told to just like stand outside and look tough. It literally looked like something from the like after school specials I used to watch. It was just, it lives in my brain and it always will. I know you guys wanna know where I'm gonna put Miss Christine and so do I because I also do not know. Christine, okay, if I'm just gonna be very, very real, very real. To freedom! Listen, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I just contradicted everything I've said about the other two bullies down the bottom. With Christine, I see the red flags. I see the red lips. I just feel like I don't care. I watched the show for Christine. Look at the picture I chose for her. That zebra. Also, everything she wears is just... Davina. I don't know how else to describe it. I love her. She has blonde, she has blonde hair. hair. And, and you know she, she does, does really, really cute, cute stuff with her hair. hair. She, does, she her does her lashes. Her lashes. She, she loves wearing mascara. mascara. And, and she, she just, you know, 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 she's cutesy. She really, really lost me in the season one finale at the party. You all know what I'm talking about. But genuinely since then, I do feel like she made genuine apologies. She's ready to pop off on a dime. I'm not gonna lie. But I am ready to see more like genuine Christine and I just watched the show for her. And I hope she's making the most salary on that show because she is bringing in the viewers. That brings us to Christian, her partner, which I couldn't even find a picture of them apart. So the devil works hard, Christine Quinn works harder. So Christian, I just feel like what to heck, tweeted by Billy Ray Cyrus, don't know much about him, don't dislike him, he seems cool. <laughs> Let's go with an and. Those scenes with Davina negotiating that price, hats off to you, Davina, you know I don't like you, but I would be just as scared, girl. The voice, the I don't like when you negotiate with me, honey, it's triggering, truly. I don't even know, because do I like him? Do I dislike him? Neither. I am Davina. scared of him, so I guess I'm gonna put him into what to hack? Yeah, that feels right, but I don't know. Okay, next we have Nico and Zelda. Jason and Mary's shared dogs. They're going into next level, Charlie. Actually, no. Davina. That. 
They're going into, we were all rooting for you. These two, I'd love to see more personality from them. I'd love to see the confessionals with them. I'd also love to see them individually, okay? I feel like they're always just presented as a two, whereas I know that with a name like Zelda, who I believe is the older dog, she's ready to give more. So you know what? I hope that season four brings us more Zelda. Nico needs to step it up. Next up, we have Brett. Honestly, I feel like I feel like I'm rooting for Brett. He's clearly like the less dominant twin. He doesn't own the brokerage. Has that new girlfriend, which is like interesting. I'm gonna see how that plays out. So I'm rooting for that. I'm glad to see him out of under Heather's thumb a little bit because I just found that extremely disturbing when she was like, where would we be? Brett, I feel like I am rooting for him. I love that he's never at work. Um, I love the little scenes with him and Maya on the like construction sites. I'm rooting for Brett. Jason? Right. right. So let me just do a little story here. When I watch Selling Sunset, I'm watching it on the TV. My partner Adam is like on his computer next to it. So sometimes he'll like listen in to like shows that I'm watching, talking about the show. And he was like, is that the one with like the little bald guy is like the boss? And I was like, surprise, there's two of them. I am convinced that Jason and Brett are like aliens here to just like buy up all the real estate on earth and then sell it back to humans or just claim it as their own. The two of them, especially Jason, constantly has to neg people. He'll be like, really great job. You're a great realtor. And they'll be like, yeah, I know. I don't need you to tell me. And then he'll be like, you do, but okay. And it's just very like jarring. Anyway, I can talk all day about Jason and his great qualities too, because I think he has built an amazing empire and created life-changing experiences for all these employees, but nothing will ever excuse the hug. though i'm over it no that hug haunts me it's the grip it's the length of time it's the height difference it's everything both of them just hug people all the time that i'm like ah! And that's on my intimacy issues, I know. For the hug on its own, Jason honestly has to go into what the heck, tweeted by Billy Ray Cyrus. So I guess this is what we're looking at as the final photo. Am I happy with all of these? The jury's out. It's not the same as TV where people have like an, or like fiction shows where people have like a very defined arc. The best thing that I love about reality TV is that people are so flawed and it sure as hell shows on reality TV. I've missed you guys so much and it means the world that you watch and subscribe. And if you haven't already, it would be awesome if you did subscribe and I'll see you in my next video, which do be coming soon. I know I've been slacking, but we're back on it. No more self-sabotage. It's the first of October. Woo! Thanks for watching. Bye.